Four people enjoying a glass of wine together, brought together by the wine they're enjoying. In a vineyard that's odds on to be a firm favorite among English wine connoisseurs, because Yotes Court Vineyard is now producing sustainable wines of the very highest quality. I have always enjoyed drinking wine, um, and I, I never thought I'd be a farmer. I never, never saw myself in wine production at all. But the, the site, it just became obvious that um, it was an exceptional site. And the first couple of harvests were amazing, produced amazing fruit. And I kind of thought, well, you know, we should just develop that into our own wine production for our own, own label. So, yeah, four years later, we've, we've got some wine. They grow four varieties of grape here, Bacchus, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Mernier and Pinot Gris. And the vines are all expertly tended by New Zealander Tony Purdy. Yeah, we're uh, just at the start of, of the season, so therefore we've got um, some young buds, some young shoots coming away. Uh, at this stage, they're, uh, they're waiting for a bit of sun to, to really start to develop. But they've gone through that uh, initial bud burst without any frost issues. Uh, so therefore, you can see how the shoots are starting to develop with a few unfolded leaves and those uh, inflorescence what we uh, potential bunches are now starting to show through uh, and which are obviously uh, the crop that we're going to nurture through to the final product. Excellent. Tony is, is uh, um, really the champion of sustainability and um, coming over from New Zealand where sustainability is, is, is just it's the way they grow their grapes there. Um, so he based, fundamentally um, the, the the methods that we use here every decision that we make has uh, the, the, the impact on the on the environment on the land is paramount that's just fundamentally it I mean, every decision has, has has that sort of respect for the land and for the, the environment the site faces southeast on kentish ragstone and chalk and provides the perfect setting for growing vines if the soils are lean but still have enough nutrient there to, to produce um, a, a good quality canopy and a good quality crop. The least amount of, uh, of, of, of moisture uh, with retained in the soil, if, if you've got some good free draining soils uh, with, with enough fertility there to keep them going then that's ideal for grapevines. You, that way you don't have to manage them too hard, they'll, uh, they'll basically manage themselves. After such a cold spring, the vines are three weeks behind where they were last year, but there's still plenty of work to be done, whatever the weather, to ensure that this year's crop will come up to standard. Although they've been growing grapes here for other producers since 2016, this year Yotes Court have gone a step further and created four wines of their own, each with a cheeky nod to the other passion in Susanna's life, horse racing. I thought it'd be fun to link the uh, the labels and the names on the, of the wines to my, my sort of horse racing interests. So we've got um, the Bacchus is called On the Bridle and we've got the Pinot Blanc called um, Hands and Heels. And both of those terms kind of refer to a lot of hard work um, to make something um, enjoyable and fun. And that kind of reflects our wines. And then we've also got On the Nod, which is basically an exciting finish. And, um, and then finally, we've got Best Turned Out, which is our Pinot uh, Mernier Rosé, which is gorgeous to look at and delicious to taste. In keeping with their sustainable ethos, the winemakers who have created and bottled the Yotes Court vintages are locally based, minimising their carbon footprint. It's been great uh, making wine for Yates Court, particularly because we are both uh, one of the first uh, vineyards and wineries respectively uh, to get accreditation by WineGB, the, the sector body in the UK, uh, for their new sustainability scheme. Uh, and I think it means a lot to both of us to produce sustainable wines. So this is fantastic that these are some of the first sustainable wines to be made in England. And do you like them? Oh yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, tastes taste great. Scott Gebby, meanwhile, created the Pinot Blanc Hands and Heels and Bacchus on the Bridle at his winery just two miles from the vineyard in Merriworth. It's gone fantastically. Um, this was a great vintage to begin with. Um, we were lucky enough to have perfect maturity. Uh, Tony delivered the grapes in excellent quality. The goal here really was to make two 
wines that were different in style um, because depending on what we do in the winery we could make them very similar but we've made two wines that are quite contrasting. On one hand we've got the Bacchus which is very clean, crisp, acidic and refreshing and then we've got a Pinot Blanc which is rounder, smoother, more foody um, with a touch of oak and so they're, they're great but for different, different reasons and for different occasions. While the whole project has taken years to reach this stage, remarkably it's something Susanna says came about almost by accident. Um, I can't quite believe it, really. It's, uh, it's, it's not where I ever thought I would be. I'm an accountant, for goodness sake. Um, but it's, I, I just love the biology of it. I love, I love the seasons. Just, um, I think it's just sort of grounded me so much more in, in nature and in this location, which um, I just love. Available now, Yotes Court wines are made to be enjoyed. They're good on the nose and finish strongly, and you'd have to be blinkered not to appreciate just how good they are.